So this one wasn't too bad. Doc's dining. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to freeze to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. In five years on the force, I've seen some murders. But you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue, or cold, or something else. But I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant. As if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. Right. Right, right, right. Let's go in. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilets. I had to go before I went home. Mm. Who is the victim? His name was, uh... Thanks for your help, Martin. It's late. I think you can go home and get some sleep. I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate, if you don't mind. I want to make sure she gets home okay. Oh, yes. Switching. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Internal time. Unlock. We just thought it was cold, you know? If I had known, I probably would have stayed in bed that night, not gotten out till it was all over. That's the problem. If we knew ahead of time, it was going to Oh, come on with the music, dude. Do we know anything about the victim? His name was John Winston. He worked at a little store in the neighborhood. He lived alone in a small apartment. According to Kate, he was just a guy. Man, this guy is dying proof that pissing can be bad for your health. Hmm. Good one. Pretty funny seeing you on the job at this hour, Tyler. What, you fall out of bed? Yeah, don't make me laugh, Gary. My lips are chapped. You look hammered, Tyler. Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. You know me, man. If I don't get my beauty sleep, it's zombie city. Ah, uh, you should be out of here pretty soon now. <laughs> you don't know Carla. She's capable of keeping everybody up till breakfast. And she is by far the most stubborn girl I ever met. Alright, um, hmm. He's doing alright now. Did you get to sit down? Alright. Good talk. Hey Garrett. Hey Frank, how's it going? Hey Carla. Hey Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Okay, let's take a look. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? Go ahead. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. There were two others. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. Did you happen to notice anything strange about the suspect's behavior before he went into the restroom? No. You, wait. Yes. I remember something. 
I came back at one point just to check whether he needed anything. He didn't answer me. He just stared straight ahead. It was weird. I didn't push it. I thought maybe this guy is a little crazy. Didn't see that one happening. Good night. Yeah, the good stuff. Just fucking around with the cinematics. Alright. What? Why is he here now? What the hell? Alright, well, he's probably got some change on him, right? Tyler, can you shut that thing off? We're on a murder site here. Hey, I just thought I'd chill the atmosphere a little. Okay. Oh, come on. I better turn this off before Carla pops a vein. What a bitch. Did you find anything, Tyler? <sighs> For that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Huh? Okay, let's see if we can make work with a gyro. Mouse on the left bumper. Okay, yep, looks good. Yeah, it's this one again. Strange. Coffee's not on the bill. Is it on the table? I guess it is. Steak and fries. Looks like he barely touched his food. Martin says this was the guy's table. Cool. Already fall back asleep? Tyler? What time is it? Oh hell. When are you coming back? I won't be long, baby. Go back to sleep. I'll be there when you wake up. Catch you later. Cool. Here's his fork, but where's the knife? Ah, oh, that's a good one. A book. A Tempest by Shakespeare. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Is it? Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. Why is it wait for a killer to read Shakespeare? Lots of people read Shakespeare.
having a good time. <laughs> Bit of a moment there. Can I just keep doing this? There's a lot of coffee in this mug, huh? Huh. As long as their boats goes up, they don't mind sharing a cup, I guess. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. Oh. Why? Uh, what? There's a hobo here. Yo. What do you want? I was wondering, you didn't happen to see anything unusual tonight, did you? Ah, leave me alone. I got nothing to say. I don't talk to cops. <laughs> right, thank you. You've been helpful. Alright, let's go burn her day by doing the same thing. Oh. <laughs> I kind of want to block traffic to be sure. Good evening, sir. Whoa! <laughs> Hey, uh, babe. <laughs> what can I do for you? Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything or anyone unusual? Did I see something? Huh. I don't see nothing. I mind my own business. You know, uh, you really shouldn't be outside tonight. It's freezing cold. If you want, I could have them come and pick you up and... Oh, leave me alone! I'm just fine. I don't need nobody. Okay. I'm gonna go. Try to get someplace warm. Take care of yourself. I saw someone! Mm-hmm. Go on. Uh, or rather, some. Thing. Nobody remembers it, but I saw him. I saw him come out the back door. Ah, oh, it was evil. The devil himself. What did he look like? Can you describe him? Uh, who? Uh, who? 
You drink too much, baby. You, you, you're talking nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably more useful to actually go out the back door, which I didn't. <sighs> the door only opens from the inside. Wait, what's Tyler doing? I thought I told you to stop the car. Uh. There she is. I think I found a clue. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? He wasn't killed in the stall. The killer dragged the body in to hide it. A pool of blood. This is where he killed him. Did he? Yeah, I guess so. Ain't much. Holy shit. Do you know if anyone has contacted the family? Not as far as I know. Oh, right. I get it. I'll take... Hey, I think there's some blood in the sink. Maybe the killer washed up before he left. Yeah, could be. Hmm, that's important. Dot, dot, dot. Unless there's a gang running around hiding bloody knives and toilets, I think I might have found the murder weapon. Great. Tell Garrett, have him check for prints on the handle. Okay. Neat. Just kind of chilling by the urinals. <laughs> Yeah, more blood. Let's look at the floor. find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. No trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. She can open this door. And teleport Tyler out of the way. That's amazing. So you gotta do that with every total idea encounters or Man, stabs Bizarre. What? Well he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. Alright. So what Carla has to say about this? With Carla. Several wounds on the left side of the chest and the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. Alright. Seems we got you know, murder method, I guess. Seems pretty clear. Maybe it was a revenge thing. Or a psycho. This town is full of psychos. They're everywhere. When I was in the Bronx, I saw guys who'd rip your guts out and hand them to you just so they could take your shoes. Tyler, can you shut up for two minutes? I think it's been plenty quiet. Are those smartphones, by the way? I 
are just PDAs. Hey, Garrett. Carla wants you to verify two or three things. Don't worry, I wrote it all down on this paper so you wouldn't forget. I had a feeling that Carla was gonna keep us up a little longer. Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but he's a good guy. Cool. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, nope, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. It's time to get back to the car. I'm dead tired. Blood. Killer is wounded. So my Tyler says say about this blood. Nothing. All right. Burp. I get it.